Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial about the N8N which is the workflow automation platform okay so on my last video I showed you how to install it on a Proxmox server so you can have self-hosted N8N platform okay so in this video I'm gonna actually continue our tutorial and we're gonna set up what we call credentials because a lot of people seem to have trouble setting up these credentials so are you ready let's get started so as you can see here I'm running my self-hosted workflow automation platform on my Proxmox and I, I can access it using this uh, IP address 192.168.1.109 okay so let's log in to our N8N platform using the credentials that we have set up during the installation process and if you don't see or so our last video you can take a look at it to see how we can very easily install it on Proxmox okay so okay now I'm logging in so before creating actually uh, a tutorial about creating a workflow we first must or should create credentials okay so for example I want to create workflow that will actually manipulate a document or a Google worksheet hosted on my Google Drive okay so here as you can see I'm logging in to my uh, Google account so it's called Karamdel01 okay and I will be manipulating this sheet or Google sheet so as you can see it contains just uh, employees so here I have employee ID first name last name salary and the department ID okay so I want to access this data using my N8N automation workflow okay so in order to do that we have to create credentials in order to access my Google account okay so the first thing that you actually should do is to create credentials so you click on credentials and you will hit this create button here okay so let's create a credential and here we have actually to select an app or service to connect to so if I type for example sheets I can get Google sheet of to API okay or Google sheet trigger all of to API so let's first choose this one because we want to access a Google Sheet okay and I will hit continue so now I will be presented with this Google Sheet account so it has provided me with this OAuth redirected URL and I have here to provide the client ID and client secret and here you can see a warning or actually an info make sure you enable the following APIs services in Google Cloud Console so you must actually log in to your Google Cloud Console and enable these two APIs Google Drive API and Google Sheets API so I will show you how you can do that so first as I told you you have to log in to your Google Cloud console so you will find of course the link to your console cloud Google so here it is so if you click on it you will be presented with this actually let me show you this is normally the one you will get so I will log in with my uh, Google account and you can see here that I have this dashboard here so by default I have no project selected okay 
so you have to select project so let's click on the select project so I have no project let's create a new project so I will create new project so I can name it for example n8n project there we go for the location you can make location or you could leave it as a default here so let's create one so now as you can see the project is being created and the name of the project is n8n project so let's select it okay here we go so we have all the info now for our project so remember we need actually to enable two APIs okay so let's go to this API and services and to credentials okay here we go so let's create credentials and I will choose the second option OAuth client ID So now it asking me to configure consent screen so let's go with it so actually just a couple of uh, validation that you have to make in order to validate this OAuth consent screen so here for the user type I will choose external and I will create so as you can see we are on the first step so for the application name let's choose n at n up as name and for the user support email I will use the same Google Gmail account okay for the logo I don't need that and at the bottom I can just actually add developer contact information so I will use the same Google account which is for me caramel or caram deal actually 01 at gmail.com okay so let me verify okay and I will hit save and continue so we are now on the second step which is called scopes so I will scroll to the bottom and I will hit save and continue now I have to add a test users so let's add just a simple one the first one that is also the second or actually my uh, Google account which is Karamdil uh, let's make sure to not copy zero one at gmail.com here we go so we have added our test user and I will save and continue and hopefully now all the steps are done so we have to go back to the dashboard So after that now we can go to the credentials okay and let's create credential and we'll choose the second option here OAuth client ID so for the application type I will choose a web application for the name I will leave it like web client one or you can name it whatever you want so let's name it web uh, for example n8n okay here for the authorized JavaScript origin I will leave that empty but here authorized redirect URI here we have to add the one that was provided my, with my, my actually platform which is this one so you have to copy this OAuth redirect URL so I'll click to copy and I will go back and paste it here 
here we go and let's create that okay so now you are presented with your client ID and client secret so all you have to do now is to copy them into your platform so I'll copy my client ID here we go and also my client secret here we go but we are not finished yet so let's return back to our dashboard here we have now to enable the API and services okay so let's create or click on this enable API and services because remember we have to enable two APIs the Google Drive API and the Google Sheets API so I'll click on it and I will add enable API and services okay and in the search for API and services I can just search for Google Drive Google Drive API here it is I'll click on it so this is the one so I will click and I will enable it okay so I will add the other one so I will go to APIs and I will enable and I will search for this time Google Sheets Google Sheets API here it is same process I'll click on it and I will enable it okay so now we have enabled the two APIs so now let's return back to our uh, actually platform because now we need to sign in with our Google account so let's do that I will save that first and I will sign in with Google account so now you have to choose the same Google account that you are working with so for me that was this one so here I will enter here my uh, phone number because I activated the two-way authentication for my uh, phone here okay so let me enter it Hopefully I will receive a code on my phone. Here we go. And I will go next. Okay, so I will continue. And now you can see that I have the option to access the Google Drive and see, edit and delete in its specific Google Drive files, which include, of course, the Google Sheets. So let me select all. Here we go. And I will continue. And this is the step that most of users actually have problem. So because we are self-hosted platform we get this local host which is causing this problem normally we should actually uh, replace this local host by the IP address of our self-hosted server which is in my case 192.168.1.109 so in order to solve this problem it's pretty easy so you just select a portion from this long URL and you click Ctrl A in your keyboard in order to select all the URL 
then Ctrl C in order to copy it. And I will open a new tab on my browser and I will paste this URL, okay? So after that, I will click on the home button of my keyboard so I can reach the beginning of the URL. Then I will replace this localhost with my IP address. So of course the IP address where I hosted the N8N platform. And I will hit enter. And here we go, you can see now that I got connected, the window can be closed now. So if I return back to my platform, you can see that account connected successfully, okay? So all I have to do now is to get rid of this window. And now, for example, I will just here give you a simple example to show you that it's working now that I can access this worksheet. So if I go to workflows, so don't uh, pay attention to that, just uh, test. But in the upcoming video, we will actually uh, set up a workflow to see all the steps. So for this workflow, I will start from scratch and I will add what we call triggers, so manual triggers, so we can uh, manually start our uh, flow. And I will add, for example, here, a Google Worksheet. So I will choose this Google Worksheet node. I want just to see the rows, so I will get rows in sheets. And here you can see that the Google Sheet account has been selected. So the resource is actually sheet within document, get rows. And here you have to choose actually the document, which is in my case, it's called employees because it resides on my Google Drive. So I can simply look for it. Here we go, employees. And it has only one sheet. So I will choose sheet one. Okay. And you can test that in order to see the output, for example. Here we go, you can see the data that resides on my Google Drive has been displayed. So I can work with this data, which will be the subject of the coming video. But this video was just uh, beginning to show you how to set up actually credentials with Google because a lot of people have a problem to set up uh, a Google account credentials, especially the ones that are self-hosted uh, platform in their server okay so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and of course if you have any suggestion for future video drop them in the comments below as always I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing bye bye